I'm going to show you just how easy it is to sight in the Spot Hog any sight using these calibration scales that come standard with your sight. So the first thing that you need to do is sight your bow in so that you're hitting dead center at 20 yards. Now, as some basic rules of thumb when it comes to adjusting your sight, you always follow your arrow with your sight. So if you shoot and you hit to the right, you need to move your sight to the right. If you hit to the left, move it to the left, etc. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get a perfectly zeroed in 20 yard mark before I do anything with these scales. And then from there, I'll show you just how easy the rest of it is to get all of those long ranges perfectly set. Okay, I'm a little bit low. I'm gonna move my sight down just a little bit. I'm also a little bit to the right, so I'm gonna move my sight a little bit to the right. Now, if you have to go a long ways, I'd recommend loosening this front screw so that you can move your whole scope for that gang adjustment left or right, and save your micro adjustment for just small movements, just like this. Okay, so I've got, it's a little low, I was a little right. I moved my sight that way. I'll go ahead and aim at the top right dot now. Okay, went a little bit too much on my left. Give that a few clicks. My height is good now, so I'm gonna leave my height. Go ahead and make one more shot. Okay, let's come on down. Okay, perfect. So you can see here, I was a little low right, so I moved my sight down and a little bit to the right. I moved it a little bit too far to the left. So then I moved back. Now I'm real happy with my ups and downs. So here's the next step. On your sight tapes that you get, you've got three of these calibration scales. Okay, go ahead and cut one of these out. Just follow the line around the outside. Cut out that square. Okay, now from there, what you're gonna do, and what I recommend you doing is Remove the backing from the top, but once you get below those numbers, just tear that backing off so that you keep some backing. This is gonna make it easier for you to remove this here in a little bit. So now what I'm gonna do, without moving my sight, I'm gonna perfectly align this 20 yard mark with my top needle. So you can see right there, 20 yards perfectly aligned. And I'm gonna stick that around just like that. And once you have your 20 dialed and your calibration set to 20, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to 60 yards and make some shots and get perfectly zeroed in again. And whatever number that that top pointer points to here is gonna be the scale that we need to cut out and put on our bow. Now what I'll tell you is for most of the bows that I've shot, a good starting point is gonna be the number 20. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on the number 20 for the starting point. Now if you have multiple targets, I would recommend you stacking a few targets up. Or if you're not really sure your speed, you can slowly walk back and just move that dial slow as you walk back. But my experience to do this pretty quick 20 is a good starting point, and as long as you have a few feet up and down on your target, you're gonna be able to make those quick adjustments. So I'm gonna pull these, let's head back to 60. All right, 60 yards. Oh, 
Okay, I'm high. So I'm gonna move this sight up a little bit. So I'm gonna roll the, roll the dial towards me and move my sight up a little bit. And I'm gonna go two numbers because I was aiming at the center dot, hit that top dot. I'm also still just a little bit left. So make that adjustment. All right, that looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and make one more shot to confirm. That looks good too, let's check it out. All right, so this is perfect little result right here. There's a little bit of wind, left and right's a little marginal, but this is perfect example. So first shot, I was a little bit high and I just adjusted this for two numbers. My last two shots, perfect height, okay? So this is good confirmation. Now all we need to do is if you look right here where your top line is pointing to, you can see that mine is pointing to 23. So it's pointing to the black line between 22 and 24. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my sight scale. I'm gonna find number 23 right there. And for a right-handed shooter, I'm gonna trim off the left numbers, but keep the scale and the right numbers. So I'm gonna trim off that side. I'm gonna just cut right down the outside edge of those numbers, just like this. Okay, so you can see right here, I've got a scale to where my pointer is gonna be able to point right to the number. And for a left-handed shooter, your pointer would be over here. So you'd wanna trim the numbers off the right side, leave the numbers on the left side. But for a right-handed shooter, I'm gonna do this. Now, I'm gonna just leave the sight exactly where it is. Do not move the sight. You can remove this calibration scale off, just like that. Now, you're gonna get your sight scale go ahead and peel this off and without moving your sight you should be dead centered right now at 60 yards so you're going to line up your 60 yard mark with your top needle and perfectly align your sight just like this all the way around and that simple, you've got the ability to go from 20 yards all the way, it'll go to 125. The thing that you should always pay attention to is you need to always put your arrow on your rest in the up position and see how far you can go down on your sight before you're gonna interfere with your arrow in your sight. So for me, I've got just enough clearance right there so on this particular bow, I can shoot 110 yards with my top pin, but if I use that bottom pin, it actually will go to 121 yards and I still have clearance. So once you've done this, the only other thing you can do is go ahead and check those longer yardages as well. And you're gonna be super, super close to your exact position. Just as a rule of thumb, make sure you're always centering your front sight and your rear sight into a perfect eclipse. When you start shooting longer distance, don't start having space underneath your scope or above your scope or to the right or to the left. All that's gonna be no different than you changing that front pin. So always have that perfect eclipse and 
Practice at the longer yardages too because they magnify your mistakes. This is such an easy system, bulletproof way to go from 20 to triple digits in a few minutes. I'm gonna make a few shots, check all these yardages. First, I'm gonna start with my 20. Roll this dial to where my top needle is dead center with 20. Secure the knob into place. And let's make a shot at 20. Top right, look at that. Top right dot, perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and check my 40. So we'll go to the next block target, check our 40. Perfect. Now, the ultimate test. I'm gonna roll this dial. Watch this. Right there, going all the way to the elk. Check them out. All right, this is a perfect example of the exact sight tape that I needed. What I'd recommend for you is shoot that 20, make sure that's zeroed. Come back, try a little bit longer yardage. What I can tell you is if you didn't do a perfect job sighting in, sighting in on that 60, then what may happen is once you get to these longer yardages, you might be a little bit high or a little bit low. Super easy to make that adjustment. Go ahead and if you're a little bit high, you'll be able to go to that next scale that's up. So for example, if I was on a 23 and I shot some groups and I was a little bit high, I would just go to that 24 number if I'm a little bit low. Same thing applies. Super easy sight scales out to triple digits.